Hey, welcome to another episode of What's Up Grenada and this is Shell Gardens. Uh, today I'm bringing you guys into my home. From humble beginnings, we're going to start something beautiful and creative into an empire. An amazing hobby turned into a great venture, something that I saw that all Grenadians, all Caribbean people would love. It's something that you can take simple things in your home and create it into something beautiful for your office, maybe a small space. Basically, your imagination is your playground. Um, we work, we create our own pots, we create our own ideas. We think outside the box, as you can see. <laughs> These are all our recycled glass, as you can see, guys. We like to have a little drink now and then. Here's what you can do with the recycled bottle. I know men like a little gardening too, so here's some of the things you can show the boys what you can do with the old shoes that you have. Quite creative. These type of cactuses create their own wool. This is called Oman Bear Cactus. Uh, some people say Oman Balls, but we leave that one out. <laughs> um, these are Ladyfinger Cactuses. They create the most beautiful flower. I'll show you one before you leave. We also try to create dome homes for plants they come they can hang they great for outdoors indoors these are some of the wall planters that I that I'm working on we're creating shells and using concrete and all that sort of stuff um, basically anything you can find around the house that you want to throw away we will also try to include the kids in our operation. Um, growing plants are always fun, but for kids sometimes you have to kind of grasp their, um, their attention. So we've created these fun little terrariums for them with air plants. Um, we've done these for offices. They're nice for, for restaurant tables. They're also nice for the rooms. They create that sort of warm feeling, that sort of Caribbean feeling. You have natural plants growing inside the rooms. So we at Shell Gardens, we want to play our part in recycling and keeping Grenada clean. Um, a lot of bars, restaurants, they throw away tons of bottles every week, every day. This is what we've done with them. Created some beautiful little planters, um, stylish. And yes, you can show off with them. So this is the broken pot fairy planter that we create. They come in all different colors, um, assortments. Basically it's to fit your decor, but it's to show you that you can take something broken that you may want to throw away and we can turn it into something beautiful. So we're keeping it rootsy and real as in the Caribbean here. As you can see, we're doing them bamboo style. Um, yes, Rasta men, we didn't forget you guys. We know you're from the heart. <laughs> So this is an example of one of the creations we've created that contains its own ecosystem. Everything in here survives by itself, basically in its own world. Take a look at that. Nothing has to be done, no watering, no fertilizing, nothing. Basically everything is done within this container. So here at Shell Gardens, we have a wide variety of succulents, cactuses, and air plants. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's a personal plant. This is a desert rose that I've used the bonsai technique to keep at this size. Uh, this is actually the first flower, and it's beautiful. So here at Shell Gardens, we want to introduce the art of bonsai to the Caribbean. Basically, what it is, is keeping trees in its miniature form. This is a desert rose. These two are desert rose. They've been in their containers for approximately two years and they've maintained this size based on how we prune our trees. Uh, this here is the rainbow eucalyptus and as you guys know it's it basically grows to an enormous size but because of this art we've kept it at this size. This here is the Christmas tree or some people call it the money tree as well. Um, this is also in its miniaturized state. We've had this here for, for about three and a half years now and it's thriving beautifully. Basically this art is it's a fun way of passing the time. Um, 
it's been developed by the Chinese over the years. They're the ones who first developed the art, they've perfected it, and we want to share that with the Caribbean now. So this basically is just a little demonstration um, of how we grow cactuses and succulents from seeds and cuttings and also leaves. Um, most succulents can grow a whole entirely new plant just from its leaves, as you can see here. Um, these are our cactuses, how we grow them from seeds. And from this, you're going to get these. As you can see, the little baby cactuses growing there. Looking a little cute. <laughs> Yes, there's one there. So these are the ones we grew from seeds. This is leaf propagation, and these this is also, um, as I told you before, how we get succulents from leaves. As you can see, the little baby plants growing up here. So it's a very fun way. You can do it together with the kids. You can do it as a family. Uh, you can do it as an independent grower, but all in all, it's an exciting way to pass the time, an uh, exciting new hobby that you guys can pick up and share with friends and family wherever you guys are. So this is the next exciting step uh, Shell Gardens has to take. We're moving out of the veranda and we're moving into our new greenhouse that we're constructing here. Uh, we're going to also have another one a little bit higher up where we're going to be showcasing all the arrangements um, but this is the, the exciting part about it. We're now getting a chance to grow outside, full use of the sunlight. Um, it's exciting. Yes. This is Alex from Shell Gardens and if you'd like to be on this program, contact Digital Stop for more information.